with two drones, 30 acres. Basically, it's gonna go all the way down to where you see those trees. We have Jess with us. She's learning how to fly these more efficiently, so we're gonna be teaching her. And we're gonna check the wind, make sure we're good there. Jess and Jay are up there getting this knocked out. Just being able to chill, flying drones, and having a view like this. Yeah. How's it going folks? Mike with New Way Ag. We're out here in some beautiful country in Ohio. I'm fired up because we don't get to do fields like this a lot where we're from. We had to go a little north of where the shop is. Man, is this some beautiful stuff. So what we're gonna be spraying today is some winter wheat, but then he also wants to do just some of this stuff right here that has weeds in it that he's going to use to plant corn. But we're gonna have a few challenges here. We have this high tension power line. We could set up down in the bottom, but I'd like to be up high as possible so we can send these drones down through here. We have Jess with us. She's learning how to fly these more efficiently. So we're gonna be teaching her. We got Jason with us, but we're gonna go, go ahead and get this boundary. Basically, it's gonna go all the way down to where you see those trees. It's gonna go across over to that building there. And then we're, we're gonna get this stuff knocked out. So we're gonna be doing five gallons an acre, which is only going to allow our drone to go 19 feet per second because we only have two nozzles on it we could do four nozzles then we're able to fly a little bit faster but it's going to lay this down really really nice we have a slight breeze which is good we'll fly it in the direction that we get overlap to make sure we get full coverage but we're going to show you guys how we use these drones to autonomously spray these fields and do a better application than really ground rigs can do so we're going to send these drones out here do an autonomous flight first we're going to boundary it and then we're going to get this knocked out sprayed for them now these drones are going to be able to lay this product down really good we got a light wind we're going to spray it in a direction that we always get overlap when we if we do have wind and this is going to be the best application that this farmer can get using drones because it's going to help push that product down into those weeds to get those knocked out out of his winter wheat and then on this stuff here we're just going to basically burn it down so he can uh plant corn in it let's go what do you think of this country pretty nice though. yeah <laughs> nice and flat <laughs> i agree all right so we have our batteries down here we were uh we just put them in the truck this morning to keep them warm if you guys don't know if your batteries get really cold they won't supercharge right away until they're warmed up so we had them in the truck to get warmed up if you guys haven't seen this rig yet, this thousand gallon tank, 175 gallon induction tank to mix our product in. We have a five and a half horse motor, two inch pump. We got this 50 gallon clean water tank with a water hose on it. And then our generators are over there. The reason the generators are on this side now is we moved our charge boxes out of the floor and moved them up to the pilot protection area. Honestly, we're trying to figure out how to move them back there because we are getting a little bit of vibration up in the pilot protection area. So we want to figure that out. But guys, check this generator out. It looks almost brand new. The reason is we had that generator come to us from another distributor that wasn't able to fix it or didn't want to fix it. And I was like, we'll fix that thing. Like, guys, the thing is, if we're going to use equipment, just like the drones, we got to learn how to work on it. And so it was blown up. It threw a rod through the motor. Very rare. I've sold hundreds of those generators. And that's the first one that I heard that threw a rod. But anyhow, we pulled the motor all apart. The complete thing pulled it apart, put the new motor in and run it like a champ. So now we got it on our trailer. I just want to test it and make sure that everything is going to work good. But if you guys have generators that you guys can't fix, get a hold of us. New Way Ag. I'd love to try to fix your generator. We're going to go up here. Start flying those drones and get the boundaries built. coming down the road here head back to the farm and, okay yeah seen so. this trailer and it's only one thing that a trailer like this is doing so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so my business, I not only do application, but I manufacture these drone trailers. We ship them all across the country. Okay. You know. Do you guys do any seating or anything? We do. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah, does we that do. work good? or It does. It actually works really good. How many acres can you get it to stay? Like... Spraying or spreading? Uh, spraying, I guess. Spraying, yeah. it depends a lot on your fields. Okay. Right? So if you have nice open fields and you can get to them easily, 500 to 1,000 acres. Okay, that's a good um, bit. Any general price range? Uh, so if you have nice flat fields, like the way it sounds that you do, 
I'd be 15 bucks probably per acre. That's not the product, of course. Yeah. But if it's like cut up and small, it's 17 bucks. All right. Thank so, thanks for coming. Yep. Thank you. In. Yeah, no problem. Hopefully we can do something for you guys. All right. Folks, if you don't know, I have another channel. It's called Drone Deer Recovery. This channel here, that drone there is the M4T Thermal Drone. This thing is sweet. If you're looking for one, I'm gonna do a giveaway. I'm gonna give away a complete M4T kit. You're gonna wanna get into that. Easy way to enter is you can buy a piece of merch or you go to the website, check out the full details and rules on it. He was driving that road all the way over there. I don't know if you guys can see. He was on that road there and he seen this rig on top of the hill and he was like, this can only be one thing, drones. So he pulled up here. He's wanting us to do potentially 500 acres of their corn because they want to test it out and see how it works. But that is how this works. If you have drone trailers that look like this, people are going to see you and they're going to want to come talk to you. I'm telling you, that's how it works. Jay is going to send a drone out and we're going to check the wind, make sure we're good there. Wind did pick up a little bit. Just want to make sure we're going to be doing a good application for the farmer. We'll do a test run and then make a decision if we're going to do it or if we want to come back this evening. Just got off the phone with the farmer and I told him what's going on. We do get a little gust every now and then. It is laying it down fairly nice if we have consistent wind, but the gusts make it move and he said he wants to get it on. So we're gonna knock it out. Jess and Jay are up there getting this knocked out. They're using two drones. As you can see that they're switching off. When one is full, we don't necessarily land them both back on the top at the same time because it gets a little tight. Now you could if you have to, but we try to stagger them. We'll send a drone out and then bam, the next drone comes back in and land if it's waiting on it. So they're getting it knocked out. We're doing, like I said, five gallons an acre, which is heavy, but it's not gonna take too long. We're gonna get this done with two drones. 30 acres, not gonna take long at all. So after taking it out a couple times, getting more comfortable, Sure. What's it feel like though being up here having a, a view like this getting paid to fly drones? It's pretty great. <laughs> <laughs> How often do you have to pitch yourself, Jay? Every, every couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> Just being able to chill, flying drones, and having a view like this. Yeah. That's what makes these drones so nice is if you're a good pilot, you can figure out the wind is blowing this way, bump that boundary out a bit and you still get that coverage. It just got done doing an auto route boundary where it first did the long lines and then flew around the field edge. Just nailed it. Jay, do we have a new feature on the new way trailer? We do. It's pretty dang cool. Yeah, so show us this little thing we got here. So options Battery for batteries. Or... Yep. We're gonna put a shelf in here as well. This is, comes up. Wow. Put your rollers in there. I like it. Lock it up. On your way. All right, Jason's drone is just finishing the last bit of the boundary, and then we're gonna wrap this thing up. Another thing we put on our drones, it goes underneath the drone. Then we pull it up around. That way our propellers and our arms stay closed. About an hour and a half spraying with two drones. We weren't hammering it hard. Five gallons an acre, got it knocked out. That's all we got for you guys today. Make sure to hit that subscribe, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. We're gonna be bringing you guys all kinds of interesting content 
of these spray drones all across the United States. You're not going to want to miss it. See you guys on the next one.